In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to transfer eSIM from iPhone to Android without a QR code and whether or not it is possible to do this. So, as you might be aware, various options to transfer your eSIM by yourself exist. If you are trying to make a transfer from one iPhone to another or one Samsung device to another Samsung device, for example, you will see the options to transfer the eSIM. It's as simple as placing them in close proximity and both devices will be able to contact and make the transfer for you. However, if you are trying to do this between an iOS device and an Android device, this option is not going to be available. Even if you initiate the transfer by going to, over to one of them and choosing the option to add an eSIM, they will not be able to detect each other because of the different operating systems. So as it stands today, can you do this transfer by yourself? Sadly, the answer to the question in the title of this video is that no. For this process, if you are going between an iPhone and an Android device, you will need to contact your service provider. So you need to contact your carrier and ask them to do the transfer for you. Because you are going from two different operation, operating systems, you cannot prompt this transfer by yourself. So visit the official website or the mobile app for your carrier. So in this example here, AT&T and T-Mobile and find the options to talk to our customer support. In here, send a message referring to transferring eSIM. If you prefer, you can also call them at their specific contact and support number. So for example, 1-800-T-Mobile. So the answer to the question in the title of this video is that you will not be able to do this by yourself, but instead you need to call the customer support. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the process of transferring eSIM between devices and how you cannot do it by yourself if you are going between iOS and Android. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please consider subscribing. As you can see, 83% of the people watching our videos are not subscribed. By subscribing, you can help us make high quality videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.